But I've, I've spent a lot of time doing other stuff, reading other things by Russell, reading Russell's autobiography. So there are other things that come in that uh, can give you a way in, even if the original thing itself seems impenetrable. Speaking of kind of diving into uh, like a, a wide and varied uh, sources, is that kind of how you got into linear logic? Was that you were like reading through logic journals and you found Gerard's work or was it for, through something else? The way I got into it was I was a serving as a postdoc at Chalmers in Göteborg in Gothenburg in Sweden. And they had a reading group every week. And they, they were going through things like uh, Gerard's original semantics for this, which was quite detailed, quite hard for me to follow. You know, they, they were saying, this is all very important. And so eventually, I think not by reading the original, but by reading LaFont's explanation, I began to understand what was going on and then did this bit of, oh, I understand now. I want to explain to other people, which is an enthusiasm that I think I learned from Donald Knuth. I remember him talking to us in class about, oh, combinatorics was very hard, but now that I understand it, I, I want to explain it to other people. And then he went off and wrote volume four of Knuth, which is about combinatorics. Was it the same thing with monads for you? Yeah, I guess so, because... Right. It was uh, Eugenio Maggi's idea. How did you come across it? And my adaption of it was a, a very slight twist on what he was already doing. 